Welcome back to Kirkpatrick Lawn Care. Hey everybody. So today we're going to be installing a drill. Be right back. All right. I've already saved you the boring stuff of drilling my holes and measuring them. I do have to cut one bolt short because there's only that much gap. And I've got one mounted already just to make sure it went like it was supposed to. I'm going to hand this over to my lovely assistant. <laughs> give me the other one. You guys are going to have to forgive my sniffles. It's kind of cold out here today, as if you couldn't tell. It's not kind of cold, it is cold. <laughs> now, they want you to lay these up there and mark the center of the hole that's down in there. I just laid them out and took my measurements, added a quarter inch for the end, drilled my holes that way. Otherwise, it'd be a nightmare. Once you drill half inch holes, that's an awful lot of slop. So I drilled three eighths holes, which is enough to let the shoulder fall down inside the angle iron for the side rail. Too much slop because these are five sixteenth bolts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get a screwdriver now. Won't be so long winded. <laughs> it's more of a pain than anything.
her. Here's that one. Goodness. Side almost done. And they do have pretty detailed instructions. Yes, it did. All right. About a foot or so of it. These have an inner and an outer spring. You got to make sure you get that clevis pin through the hole and through both the inner and the outer ring. So in other words, get ready to get very flustered. Nah. <laughs> Not that bad. Just trying to get the line up with the other hole. It's almost through. Ta -da. You got a washer and you got this funky little retaining pan. Yeah. Goes like that. And what they tell you to do, somehow magically, get that behind it like that, and that locks it in where it can't come off. You know what those pins look like? Huh? You know what those pins look like? Huh? Those little uh, mind puzzle things. You got like a ring oh. and a triangle and a square all done together and you got to try and get them all separate. That's yes. what that looks like.
Oh, that bright yellow looks good against that black. <clears throat> Alright, so it tells you to put the top roller in first, which would make sense, see as how. You probably won't be able to get to it. And you got two flat washers that go on it. And another funky pin thing. Lock it in. All right, then we get the bottom one. Same thing on the bottom one. And locked in. Alright. Right, we'll put you in time lapse while we do the other side. And uh, then we'll come back to setting it up. Be right back. Alright, so it comes with these S hooks. And what you're supposed to do is you gotta start out and it's just trial and error. So I'm gonna hook it right there, right above my cross member here. And what it's supposed to do when it gets down halfway. It's supposed to hold itself, and that's where it's set right. So, no, that doesn't. So. I'm going to go up to. Be careful when you're doing this because you have to pull out and you know, if that spring's under tension, it's going to bite you. Right, see what that did for us. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not going to happen. I'm going to have to accept the tip. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry for the jostling around, guys. I gotta get you all set up. Okay. What do you need me to get? Hold the gate up? No, the gate's up. Turn you guys around here. <coughs> okay, yep, we can see ya. not one-handed, but it makes a world difference. So, probably, doing it. about right there, I better get some mark.
Drill bit just a little short. Store of my life. Uh, is she here? Come right here. Yeah, my son. Drill a half inch hole through here. And I bought these rubber spacers because of all the installation videos I watched, this will walk all over the place. You want to keep it just as straight as you can. And so I have them on there. Nut backwards washer. Washer and nut. And these are lock nuts. Got tightened down. So now we're going to take apart the other side. Drill a hole for it. You might put the camera. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yep. One thing to it. So much in the shade over here. I was going to try and show where you drilled, but I don't know if you can see it or not. 
<laughs> this next part definitely needs two people. It makes it a whole lot easier. Uh oh, <laughs> I got a hole in the glove. <laughs> It's tight enough when it's starting to squish in the sides. Yeah, and I'd say it's tight enough. It's squishing the sides. <laughs>
have to remember to leave this straight. And the cable just misses the bracket for my hand. Oh, there you go. That's probably not the best installation video for a grill lift. But although it doesn't hold it, which my ramp was heavy before I added that extra foot there on the end, that made it really heavy because I think I over engineered it a little bit. Better safe than sorry. It works. So it don't hold it at halfway like it says you're supposed to set it up like but it makes it where it's so much easier to pick it up and that's what I was looking for <laughs> as always we appreciate y'all tuning in and watching us take time out from your day to spend it with us we all hope you have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next one bye everybody <laughs>